Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sonnet, the owner and creator behind Sonnet's Garden Blooms. And in today's video, I'm gonna be telling you a story about me and really how I came about being where I am today. And in the end, or at the end of the video, I am going to be telling you some really exciting news. Uh, something that I have been wanting to do for a very, very long time. So stick around to the end. I had to show you guys these amazing chairs that I recently picked out of the garbage. They were just sitting there screaming my name on the curb, stops on it, stops on it, pick me up. And that is exactly what I did. I grabbed them and I have an idea and vision for both of these. They are going to be available at Antique Acres, but they are gonna look much, much different. Now, one thing I do hear a lot is Sonnet, how did you start your business? How did you decide that you were going to be a person that would find things on the curb and upcycle them or repurpose, reuse them? And honestly, since I was a very young child, that is something that I've always done. It's just, I think, instilled in me. And my parents were very thrifty and they always saw the good in, in old vintage items. And I think that that's where I I actually got it from. First, I want to show you Farm Fresh. I am painting both of these chairs this beautiful color from DIY, and I am using the, the new paintbrush from DIY as well called the Little Dipper, and it is the perfect brush to use for this job. It fits perfectly in the uh, eight ounce containers, and I absolutely am loving these paintbrushes, guys. Now, I am picking farm fresh because one of the things that i recently picked up was these two beautiful hutches over at the habitat i plan on incorporating farm fresh into both of those now going back to my business i started off having a storefront and unfortunately after having the storefront for three years the building that we were using was sold and a new business wanted to expand into it. At first I thought my life was over and that's when I discovered booth life and I opened up my first booth over at the Yield Goat and it went amazing and then after I had that going I started my booth at Antique Up and then from there I expanded over to Water Street Vintage and I was absolutely loving my booth life until unfortunately in 2020 when the C word hit and I didn't know what to do. I mean, everything was shutting down uh, and I had met a really great person that I work with, Brendan, and he had suggested that I start YouTube. And because of him, you guys now get to watch me on a weekly basis. The other people that I need to give a shout out to is all of you, my viewers. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't have my YouTube channel. I thank you all for all your support, taking time out of your busy schedules to watch my videos, comment, give me a thumbs up. I love hearing from all of you and I love meeting you. It's great when I'm out and about and somebody would recognize my voice or recognize me and they come up and say hello and they watch me. I mean, that is so touching and I, I just love you all. All right, the chairs. I just want to give you an update. I am going to apply two even coats of Farm Fresh to both chairs, let them dry, and you know it. You know the drill. If you've been watching me for a while, I'm going to distress the heck out of them. And from there, I am going to seal them and possibly add some beautiful transfers to the fronts. Now, you'll have to check those out um, in my video that I will be doing on an update about Antique Acres coming real soon. So back to the business. When I first created Sonnet's Garden Blooms, my true intentions or my vision for my business was landscape design. I had actually gone to school to become a landscape designer and that is what I did as I created beautiful designs for a, a homeowner's landscape. 
and I loved working with color combinations, textures. Uh, it was just, it, it was definitely, it's, it's just what I love to do. I'm a master gardener. Uh, I love getting my hands dirty, working um, with all different plants. And I, I really had that vision. And then I realized it was very unfulfilling because I would create these beautiful designs and then I would never see if the homeowner ever actually use the design in their garden. And this was the turning point in my business when I decided I was going to take a step back from the landscape design aspect and definitely take a different direction with the business. My mom had opened up her storefront and she offered me an area within the store and that is when the change occurred where I decided I was going to start upcycling, creating my own signs, creating my own barn quilts and that is definitely the turning point point. and from there then that's when things really started kicking off and I started doing shows so I started hitting the road I would do the local farm markets I would head up to St. Germain Wisconsin I had a booth up there I started doing cranberry fest I did many local shows and I absolutely loved it but I was extremely busy I was all always creating and repacking my vehicle and I was always at the store and so I when we talked when I talked about earlier that when that big c word hit I felt like you know everything slowed down and um, you know my life was you know I didn't know what I was going to do with my business it really was a blessing in disguise as well it really made me slow down, take a look at my business, reevaluate, and that is when I refocused and that's when I met Brendan, like I said, and came up with the YouTube channel and that is where the direction is now. And honestly, you guys, I never in a million years thought I could be doing this for a living. I am actually living my best life ever and I can honestly say that. I wake up in the morning so happy I get to create I get to work with beautiful color combinations so I am so fortunate that I found DIY paint and that amazing selection of colors then I found IOD and have these amazing uh, supplies right at my fingertips to just create the most amazing beautiful items and then I stumbled upon recycled papers and again, another added element that I can use to upcycle. Over the last two years of having my YouTube channel, I have grown so much as a creator, uh, not only a video creator, but just I have grown so much in my abilities as a furniture artist and just an upcycler. And because I feel like I have so many more tools right at my fingertips and I'm just continuing to teach myself new techniques and just try to get better and better. And I cannot wait to see what I do with my business in the future. I do know that I want to just continue to, you know, excel and make it grow and continue to give you guys the best videos possible uh, by creating more content, giving you more suggestions, inspiration, all that great stuff. I didn't want to bore you with all the nitty gritty details of my business, but I definitely wanted to, you know, tell you how my business started, how it grew and where it is today and how I got here. And again, I want to give you all a big shout out because if it wasn't for you, my YouTube channel would not be as successful if I didn't have all you amazing viewers.
I'm so excited to see where I can take my business moving forward. I definitely have lots of ideas, areas that I want to improve, grow, uh, and I cannot wait to take you guys along with me. I appreciate all the support, but I do know that you guys have been sticking around to hear the big news. So with that said, I am going to flip it over and you're going to hear what the big news is. Okay, you guys stuck it out this long. I appreciate it. I don't like to do two back-to-back -back videos, like talking videos like this, but this was such big news I had to spill. If you've been following along for a while, you will know that I not only had my YouTube channel and my small business, but I was also working a, a job at a business. And I had this position for the last 17 years. Uh, it was a company that I loved to work for and I still did, but I also love my business. And I made the executive decision on Tuesday. So you guys all got my video Monday on Tuesday. I went in and I gave my two week notice. So that is the big news that effective May 2nd, you guys, May 2nd, this will be my job. I, I feel so blessed. I'm actually going to cry. Um, but I feel so blessed. It was something that I have wanted to do for so long and because, you know, I all through the video, I thanked you guys up and down, but uh, honestly, I could not do my business without all of the support of you guys. So uh, again, a huge shout out to all of you. And I know that I hear like, oh, you inspire me, but I... <laughs> I couldn't inspire you without having you guys watch me. So I appreciate it uh, so very much and thank you so, so much. And I am so excited, honestly. I This is like, honestly, the best day to tell you all that I'm doing this. So thank you. Mwah. And I will see you guys on Monday. I am gonna create um, a video this weekend and honestly, thank you. We'll see you. Bye.